A Viagra-like pill for women got one step closer to hitting the market today. Maria Medina tells us about the little pink pill. Maria? And Liz, there are several options for men, no options for women when it comes to this issue. Still, it could be a while before this pill hits a pharmacy near you. I think it's great. There's a pill available. I mean, obviously, women deserve that as well as men. Women and, of course, men are excited to hear about the little pink pill. I think they'd invest. <laughs> yeah, I would. It's known as the first ever female Viagra, and it just got a recommendation for approval by an FDA committee today. The drug is supposed to boost low sex drive in women. Fantastic. That's been approved. It's been a long time in the making. Stephanie Flood, a marriage and family therapist in Campbell, specializes in intimacy issues. She says when women suffer from a decrease in drive, their relationships suffer too. They don't really understand why this is happening, um, and there isn't really very much they can do about it. And getting the girls to want it is the challenge. But the FDA has rejected the drug twice before, saying the risks outweighed the benefit. Today, the committee recommended its approval with conditions like proper warning labels that the pink pill can cause fainting, nausea, sleepiness, dizziness, and low blood pressure. That's got to be the first priority. The last thing we need is a drug for women that's going to harm them. While many are applauding the committee's vote, some, like this doctor, are against it. This drug increases satisfying sexual events by less than one per month and one out of five women is going to have an adverse effect. For Stephanie, she says it's about time women finally have an option than nothing at all. It's really exciting and hopefully it, it opens up a lot of conversation about that you don't need to suffer in silence. This issue can be addressed, it can be fixed. And researchers know that this pill changes brain chemistry in women, but they're not exactly sure how it boosts desire. The FDA is expected to vote on its approval sometime this summer. Live in San Jose, Maria Medina, KPIX 5.